What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel, Keto with Sammy. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. For today's recipe, I have an awesome Instant Pot recipe for you, but you can also do this over the stove top if you prefer that. For today's recipe, I am going to be making an awesome, easy, spicy soup. It is full of flavor, going to be delicious, perfect for the winter time. Today we are going to be making this Keto Jalapeno Popper Soup. So let's get straight into the video. First thing we are going to start doing is heating through our Instant Pot. I am going to go ahead and click the saute mode and you want to let it heat through for about a minute or two and it's going to act like our stove top. Once you have let your Instant Pot heat through, we are going to melt down three tablespoons of butter. Go ahead and mix it around in your Instant Pot and give it a few minutes just to completely melt down. And right here off to the side, we are going to start adding in some veggies. So I have one half of a one large green bell pepper diced. We're also going to be adding in two large jalapenos diced. If you do not like it spicy, you can leave out the seeds, but you already know me. I want some spicy jalapeno popper soup. So I went ahead and left in the seeds. I have half a large onion right here diced as well. We're gonna go ahead and start adding in our veggies. We're gonna get them nice and tender. Add in all our jalapenos. And this is fresh jalapeno. If you're somebody that just wants to use the can, you can do that as well. We're gonna add in our diced onions. And we gotta go ahead and season this up and give it some flavor. So I'm also adding in a tablespoon of some minced garlic. And for my seasonings, I am going in with half a teaspoon of paprika. Some salt to taste and you can add more at the end if you need to. One tablespoon of ground comino. And we can't forget some black pepper. We're gonna go ahead and let this sit here and saute until everything is nice and tender and translu translucent. It should take about five minutes. All right guys, after a few minutes, you should see your onions and your jalapenos. They're nice and translucent. If you're sensitive to heat, do not stand over this because the jalapenos will make your eyes water. But everything should smell. Oh. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Those jalapenos are spicy. I'm over here choking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, if you're sensitive, obviously, like me to jalapenos, I don't recommend to stand over this because it's going to make your throat hurt. But we're going to go ahead and cancel this so we can cancel the saute mode and we're going to start adding in some chicken. Wait, give me some water. <laughs> I can't. <coughs> Wait. <sighs> okay. You think it's funny. <laughs> He's over here not breathing in back of the camera. <laughs> okay, once we have that canceled, we're gonna go ahead and add in our chicken. Right here, I have three large chicken breasts that I'm gonna go ahead and add in. I did trim off any fat. If you're somebody that does not like chicken breasts and you wanna use some chicken thighs, you can also do that as well. Okay, once we add in our chicken, remember you always need a liquid with your Instant Pot. So we are going to go in with three cups of chicken broth. This is just some regular chicken broth that I got from HEB. Got one cup. And three cups. Okay, now we have to go ahead and let our chicken cook through. We're gonna go ahead and close our lid. Make sure it is on ceiling if you need to close your ceiling top and you are going to go ahead and click pressure cook and we're gonna let this pressure cook for 15 minutes. 
In the meanwhile, while this is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and start sauteing up some bacon to get it nice and crispy for the topping. All right guys, for my bacon, I have a pan heating through. I have one package, which is 12 ounces of bacon chopped, and you just go ahead and cook it through and get it nice and crispy as much as you like it. We're going to be saving half for our soup and half for our top of our soup. My bacon got nice and crispy. I'm just gonna go ahead and take it out and put it on a paper towel so the excess grease drips off. All right guys, my chicken has been in the Instant Pot cooking for 15 minutes. Now what you wanna do is carefully release your pressure. We're gonna go ahead and click this button. If you're anything like me, I gotta prepare myself. So I push and run. <laughs> our pressure is released. I'm gonna go ahead and carefully open up our lid. Oh, it smells so good. It's gonna be hot, so you gotta be careful. But what we're gonna do is take out our chicken breast, just the chicken breast. We're gonna add it to a bowl because we are going to shred it up. I'm gonna let it cool down for a few minutes first just so we don't burn ourselves. Look at that, looks delicious. You just fogged it all up. <laughs> All right, guys, once your chicken has cooled off, you are going to take either some forks, but I like to use my hand mixer to shred up the chicken. It just makes it that much more easier. And check this out. I got a new hand mixer. This is from KitchenAid. It is cordless and it is awesome. I'll link it in the description below for y'all. If y'all are interested, I highly recommend it. All you do is recharge it. The battery lasts forever, so it's really good. But we're gonna go ahead and go in and just start shredding our chicken into bite-sized pieces. Okay, see how simple that was? It literally took me like less than a minute to shred up some chicken breasts. So once you have it shredded up, we're gonna go ahead and add this back into our Instant Pot. Ooh, it's hot. Carefully add your chicken back in to your broth. Careful, cause it will splash. Okay, once we have our chicken in, we gotta get this nice and creamy and add in our cheeses. Once we add in our chicken, we're gonna go ahead and click saute mode again because we are going to melt in our cheeses. And it's going to come to a boil, a simmer. The cheeses that we are going to add in today, we are adding in six ounces of softened cream cheese. Make sure it is softened, it's just way easier to mix in. Going in with half a cup of some heavy whipping cream. Three fourth cup of shredded mayo cheddar cheese. You can also go in with sharp cheddar cheese if that's what you prefer. And we are also going to need some shredded cheese for topping, so make sure you have some set off to the side. We got three fourth cup of shredded Monterey Jack cheese. Jesus. Cheeses. Now we're going in with half of the bacon. The other half is for topping. Ooh, nice and crispy. We're gonna go ahead and give this a good mix. We're gonna let the cream cheese melt down for just a few minutes, and then we're gonna add in a thickener. Look at this. Ooh, this is perfect for the winter and fall weather. I'm so ready for it. All right, guys, we have our cream cheese nice and melted into our chicken. It's nice and creamy. It's smelling amazing. We're gonna leave the saute mode on. Now we are going to add in a natural thickener. This is one teaspoon of xanthan gum. You can get this at any of one of your local grocery stores. Usually they have it in the baking aisle. We're gonna go ahead and sprinkle it in. Do not add more than a teaspoon because a little bit goes a long way and you don't want it gummy and glumpy. So we're gonna go ahead and mix it in. We're gonna let this saute for about five to 10 minutes just so the zephyr gum can activate and it can get our soup nice and thickened. My soup has been sauteing for about eight minutes. You do wanna stir it occasionally because you don't wanna stick it to the bottom, but I went ahead and turned it off. We're gonna let it cool down and serve it right up. It smells absolutely delicious. Y'all are going to love this. We're gonna go ahead and top it with some more cheese and jalapenos and dig right into it. I cannot wait. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and serve me up a bowl of this deliciousness. Look at that. Nice and warm on these cold days coming up. I'm adding in some more shredded Monterey Jack cheese right on top as well as some mild cheddar cheese. And you're just gonna let that melt down. We have some fresh diced jalapenos if you would like to add a little bit more spiciness and it just gives it a little bit of color so I love to add the extraness. And then of course, we cannot forget to finish it off with the crispy bacon. And here you go guys, we have our keto jalapeno popper soup. I hope y'all enjoy this easy recipe. We are about to dig right into this delicious soup and give it a try. Look at all that cheese, oh it smells so good. Mm. Oh, this is good. Definitely has a spicy kick at the end to it. The cheeses mix so well together and I love the bacon in it. It is absolutely delicious. This soup is definitely perfect for the winter time. If any of y'all make this, head on over to my Facebook page and drop some pictures. I would definitely love to see y'all remake it. All right guys, that was today's video on our keto jalapeno popper soup. I really hope y'all enjoyed this recipe. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel for more awesome keto recipes, and I will see y'all in the next one.